it can talk. So you can just talk into it, record it, and then have someone transcribe it. And then you've got something there to work with. So just throwing that out. Oh, Don, no, thank you. Now, now, Mariel, was it Carol right before Don who said she couldn't type every day? Who, who um, uh, Ash Badash, would you, would you like to say hello? Li no, but listen to what Don said. If you don't want to write every day, record it. Our, our cell phones are a, a walking computer. If you're just taking a walk around the block, turn it on record and talk, into, uh, talk a story. There's no excuse if Shakespeare could do it with a quill. And, and so you can write every day. You might want to talk it. Like, thanks, Don, for that suggestion. But record it on your cell phone. And then that can be transcribed into a story. I, try it. Just try it for a week. I promise you'll love it. Anyone else, Marielle? Yes, Linda says that um, most of her writing is uh, history and that she handwrites on a legal pad with a pencil and then uses dragon to dictate or um, add it to the document or to the computer. She saved, it saves her fingers for 50 years of hand typing. Um, she sends a letter, a Christmas letter every year to family and finger and friends included um, in their Christmas cards. That's so oh, sweet. That's, that, that is so precious. And they will remember that and they will keep those. They will save those letters. And yes, I used to write, hand write everything too, but I, I got lazy. It's just so easy to type it. But uh, the handwriting as some technology will tell you, you can get this pen that you can just drag over that handwriting or scan it and it will convert it to text. So it, there's no excuse anymore. You can't get away from it. It can be converted into a written story. So anybody else with a comment? Yes, the um, iPhone, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name, but um, the art, the artist Elaine that you like, was it Charlie Russell? Yes. I think she asked, okay, Charlie Russell. There you yes. go. Right, and Ingrid. Four. Pardon? Oh, you have four? Yep, four of my paintings. And uh, of course he was big in Montana. And uh, so nobody's getting those paintings from me. I, I have to die first and then my kids can have them. <laughs> That's a legacy I have. <laughs> any other comments? Ingrid is asking, do you have any suggestions for new dreaming, for dreaming up new blog topics? Blog topics? Blog. Yes, look out your window. I get all my inspiration from what's happening outside. It's not just the weather, but what's that strange car over there? Hello. Here? Why are the Hello. Hey, I'm out there with Please si silence your phone if you're talking. Um, if if there's a police car over there and I see the lights, what's happening? If uh, th there's so many instances all around us that prompt our writing and I can send you a list of blog topics to write and uh, find some humor, find some memoir, find children's books, find some issues. There's so many topics about which to write and the world is endless. Just open any book, look at a paragraph and write a blog about it. Uh, I have about a thousand blog posts that I've done and it's just random topics from being middle-aged to being a grandmother to divorce, uh, all these topics that many of us are going through, I write about. And they're, they're not original, but I make them creative and sometimes I make them funny. So any other comments? Yes, we have from Lauren. I kept a daily journal during March and April to reflect the good, bad, and the ugly of living through the first hard months of the pandemic. I did this because I have a new grandbaby and I wanted him to know what it was going on for us the year he was born. I can include bits and pieces in my December letter, she says. It's wonderful. That is perfect. And that you wrote a journal knowing that you don't know what's going on. None of us knows how this is going to end, but that you still kept positive. And the, the motivator was your grandchild. And that grandchild will read those stories someday and go, wow, how did you do that? Just like I want to read the stories of my grandparents, great grandparents who walked to Idaho on the Oregon Trail. I can't read those. But those of you who are writing now are going to share a valuable story with uh, future generations. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Anybody else have a comment? Yes, Ashpadash is actually named Donna. <laughs> thank oh you, Donna, for saying. And she says this is so much fun. So thank you. Well, we're going to be best friends. I'm going to continue doing this if uh, you want to play along with me for a while. And because uh, I'm having a great time, I, I would love to be in a room with you. This is the first time for me doing a webinar and I'm used to going around talking to people and getting eye contact. But this is this is the best we can do right now. And I'm having a great time.
Any other comments? Actually, yes, it leads right in perfectly into Sandra asking, do you offer classes for self-publishing and, and selling or, or marketing or the book, our book? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> and getting right into that, let me go to this slide. And we're going to go to this one. Register for my newsletter. It's online at elaineambrose.com. And I give tips and hints. And then this slide. Oh, I'm so excited about this slide. I finished this last night. Sandra, look at this. This is what I'm offering today. If you want to talk to me for 45 minutes, you can do a phone call consultation and we will talk about your writing goals. If you want to write a book, an ebook, uh, a paperback, if you want to just do an audio book, I've done four audio books. Talk to me. We'll, we'll talk about that. And that's $50. A one hour professional edit of your December letter. Some of you might want that and a critique, 500 words, which you're going to write tonight. Uh, just send it to me and for $100, I'll send it back formatted in professional quality. I am doing a storytelling masterclass uh, in January every Thursday, the 7th, 14th, 21st, 28th, 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Standard Time in Idaho and uh, for 60 minutes. And I am going to help you create an ebook that will be published on Amazon. And we'll walk through the process, what you have to do. I'll give you the tools. We'll meet for an hour every week. You'll have assignments. And by the end of that, you will have an ebook ready to go. And in the spring of 2021, have a published ebook. So consider that. If you're interested, just register on that link below. And uh, we'll be best friends. My gift I'm chapter. I'm the link in the chat. Oh, in the chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it was on the same link that you got into this webinar with, but um, I'm going to email you the gift chapter I promised, uh, the storytelling chapter of my book, Midlife Happy Hour. And I want to thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. You have many other things you could be doing, but you spent an hour with us today. And I hope that I inspired you in some way to write that December letter and maybe continue with me and write some other things and uh, look at my books and we'll talk about blogging and writing and speaking. Um, your story is important. You are rare and marvelous. And most important, you are a storyteller. Thank you for joining me today. I'll be on a little while longer if you wanna chat, but thank you, so good to see you. Elaine, keep in touch. Stephanie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If anyone has a question, you can unmute yourself and talk to Elaine for a few moments. I think we did a good job, Mary. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Please keep in touch. My email is Elaine at ElaineAmbrose.com. Easy peasy. Thank you. Elaine at elaineambrose.com. Yes. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Go laugh and end the year on a positive note. Thank you. Bye bye.